Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 28, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We recently reunited Frog with the Mazamoon. We got him some water magic. Uh, if I was trying to do the power gaming thing, this is where I would take Frog back into uh, the prehistoric area and uh, start farming those news to get him uh, at massive amounts of tech points. But I've got six shows to record. We're already four in. So we got this one and two more after. Um, yeah, math. I think I explained that wrong. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're on the fourth of six that we're going to record tonight. So depending on how far we get at, by the end of the live stream, uh, we'll, depend, we'll determine whether or not I get time to do a little bit of grinding before we uh, record the next six episodes. So um, in the meantime, let us get to storming the castle. So we'll start at the magic cave. The frog's going to lean and have a moment. An awkward moment. Ah! That frog getting picked on? Stop that! Oh no, Cyrus, run! Sniffle. Thank you, Cyrus. Sniffle. Glenn, there are times when a man must stand and face the things that trouble him. It hurts to be hit. I cannot hurt another. Not, not even them. You're too soft, Glenn. Glenn, I've decided to join the knighthood. I thought as much. You'll be a fine knight, I'm sure of it. Won't you come with me? I... I cannot. But why? You're a better sword than I. You've always been. I haven't the nerve it takes to be a knight. In a real battle, the fear would take me. Oh. No. Mm. Oh, there's the hero's badge. Where's the Muslim? The badge. The hero's badge. The Mazamun, if you please. Oh, that's right. We haven't given it to him. I thought it was supposed to be the sword in the stone. To deem him worthy. My name is Glenn. Long have I carried Cyrus's hopes and dreams. And now I bear the Mazamun as well. Henceforth, I claim them as my own. I shall slay the fiend Lord Magus and restore our honor. Oh, oh I thought I had the video capture fixed. Shoot. There's a really nice video of this going. I, I really like this uh, rendition on the Steam version that I wish you could see. I'm so sorry. I'll have to try a different way of doing the game capture. Of course, I never know when these videos are going to pop up. They're, they're so few and far between that it's really hard to test for them. Actually, you know what? This might be the perfect opportunity. Um, I'll save in the next slot down 
That way I can repeat this moment, testing out the game capture. So that way we don't miss any of these videos in the future. Because this, this is well worth it. This is a lot better than the, uh, this is a lot better than what I saw in the NES version. Matter of fact, I think I might, uh, dial the nostalgia back just a smidge and go with the fancy graphics. Yeah, this is all we saw <laughs> when it, when uh, I first played the game on the SNES. We saw him pull that. We saw the bright beam of hope and power and pancakes. Oh wait, no. That's something else. And bam! There we go. All right, let's just double check. Okay, good. He now has the muzzle moon. And that's about on par, attack 75, attack 70. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I'll use Luca for a little bit and then I might swap out for Robo in a little bit. I'm going to pick every fight between here and there, though. I'm not going to make it a fair fight. Don't hear what I'm not saying. Like, I am totally going to nuke these guys. Thunder. Na, 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 na. Sorry, that was horrible. 6 XP, 6 tech points, 210 gold, and a partridge in a pear tree. And a weird bat following. Oh, yeah, and we got to remember that that thingy is there, too. We're almost to where we get to go running around with those guys. All right. And let's uh, get these guys thunderstruck again. Oop. Nuked. Hundred sixty seven XP, six tech points, two hundred and ten gold, and a horde of rats. Is it a horde of rats? What is the collective noun for uh, a bunch of these guys? Come on. Let's do it. Leroy. No. <laughs> Actually, I am kind of wondering if I ought not to uh, swap Robo out now since it's clear that with what he's currently got, we ain't, we're not building any dual techs. Yeah. 255, 10 tech points, 350 gold. Chrono's level's up. Yay! And the next round in the Slugfest. Bam. We nuke them all again. This is why I gave him the uh, reduced magic point cost by half. Because I knew we were going to end up nuking some people with lightning as we went. Bam. Done. Another 218. 8 tech. 280 gold. And when does frog level again? Okay, so his next level is in 461 XP. That should be soon. And Luca will have leveled up to 25 by then. Marley and Robo are a fair ways off. Oh, no. Marley's already at 25. Robo's a fair way off, though. So, you know what? Now, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and swap these guys out right now. Let's go party. Let's swap out Ruka, Luca with Robo. A message scrawled in blood here. Beware the jugglers in the Fiend Lord's Keep. Strike them and they tighten their defense against blows. Cast spells upon them and they strengthen their defense against magic. Hmm. The Fiend Lord's Keep. Anything else on this island? I don't think there was anything else on this island. It doesn't even seem like it's going to let me walk around the mountain, so... I guess... Yeah, this is all we got. Alright. No, I'm not going to quit, but I am going to go ahead and do a quick save. Actually, no, I'm going to... 
burn a shelter real quick. So I can get Chrono's magic points back up to max. And then I am going to save. Yep. Alright, to the Fiend Lord's Keep. Mm, ominous. This is it. We still got that one bat following us, too. Hmm. The Fiend Lord's Keep. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to do. Before I forget again, we're about halfway through the game. I've left the uh, graphics over on original. Mostly to crank up the nostalgia. But I'm going to go ahead and bump it over to high resolution for the rest because I do want to show off some of the, some of the nicer parts of the, the version you get off of Steam if you decide to go that route. Um, so let's start playing with some high res graphics. They are a little bit smoother. They do look a little bit nicer. Anything down here? Nope. Just a bat following us. He needs to return to his belfry. Alright. Hee hee. Hmm. A mid ether? Okay. At least there's that. Let's play. Let's play. I don't know, with all the fiend lords having their uh, human form, I'm not sure I like this. Let's play, hee hee, let's play. Let's start here and get a mid ether. Let's start here and get a shelter. And sing some rolling stones while we're at it, right? Um... I thought there was something supposed to be happening there. And not what we found so far. Interesting. This is our treasure. Hee hee. Ha ha ho ho. Our treasure. Mine. All mine. Let's play. Robo, don't waste your energy. Um, Frog, you're safe. Um, Chrono, so this is where you've been since the fair. You had me worried sick. Yeah, that can't be good either. Okay. Nothing there. We'll skip all that. And the children of the corn. Ah, there we go. Now we can get this party started. Ozzy. Oh, Ozzy. Sorry, my throat's a little try to do that justice. Welcome, Glenn. Or should I say, Sir Froggy? Mahaha. <laughs> Never expected to see you here. Are those your replacements for Cyrus? Lord Magus is a tad busy right now. You'll have to take up your business with me. After you take it up with the Master Swordsman Slash and Flea. The Magician, that is. <laughs> Get it? Ozzy Slash and Flea. So we got your front man, your guitarist, and your bassist. For those of you... <laughs> okay, maybe it's just the musician in me. Okay. Oh. Well, Hello. And all 100 beasts in this keep, of course. Hello, beastie. Yeah, let's uh, make this quick. I got places to be. Yeah, you know, the, the high-res graphics do... Uh, they, look, they look good while keeping true to the original. And uh, I'll take that. 488, 12 tech points, 940 gold, and frogs level increased. Frog launcher and bubble breath and triple attack. 
Okay. Let's take a look at that real quick. So, Sword Stream is for Frog and Chrono, along with X-Strike. Ice Water is Frog and Marley. Frog Launcher, uh, Laser Spin and Slurp Slash. Okay, so Frog got both of his with uh, Robo. And Triple Attack. Chrono, attack, oh, Cyclone, okay. So this is a three-pronged attack with the two of these guys. All right, this might be our party, at least until we get a little bit further. Dance. Dance. The god of all fiends is born tonight. Ah, the sacrifice has arrived. I don't think so. Matter of fact, I am about to strenuously object. Um... Oh, because Robo's not ready. Bam! Bam! 70 XP, 5 tech points, 415 gold, and an ether. Even death does not stop your lust to kill one another. Weird flex, but okay. Such foolish creatures, you humans. Yep. Yep, so foolish. Bam. No, that's right, he doesn't... He doesn't take lightning damage. I don't think I noticed that the last go-around. I was too busy keeping an eye on my timer and, other, and chat and other stuff. <laughs> Oops. 70 XP, 5 tech points, 415 gold, and ether. That's worth a couple of shelters. All right, um... No, you're not gonna say anything? No, you're not gonna say anything? You gonna say anything? No, you gonna say anything? No, you gonna say anything? Please help us escape from this eternal suffering. Mwahahaha. Them bones and bones and dry bones. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I put the Rage Band on uh, Robo. That, that'll work out even better than I thought. Because he's about to knock out about half of them before we even get started. Sixty XP, five tech points, four hundred and fifty gold. Hmm, it seems you've freed my undying slaves. Such insolence. You do not yet know the depths of my insolence. It has been ages, Slash. I mean, really, you guys should have released another album at some point. <laughs> I must admit, I'd not even dreamed you would find the courage to come here. Had Cyrus not been with you the last time, your fate would have been the same as all the others. But I'm sure you'd have fit right in with those skeletal servants of mine. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and try triple attack. So if I remember, this guy is all about the physical attacks as opposed to the magical attacks. So we'll just keep hitting him with this. Right now, health is looking pretty good. He's got more health than I remember. I mean, I looked up the number, but... Bam! Bam! Use some prowess for the first time in ages, perhaps. I'd best employ all of my own as well. Aha! Why does this feel like this moment from the Princess Pride when he goes, But I know something you don't. I'm not left-handed. <laughs> and you, without Cyrus, you've no hope. Ah, I don't know about that. Bam! Oh, yeah. I ain't worried. Oop. Well, except for when you get us all in line like that. 
Maybe I need to do a uh, quick heal beam after this one. Yeah. Alright, combo. Unexpected cyclone sweep. Oop. Interesting. Next strike and heal beam. There we go. That's a small bump. I guess everybody close enough though. Flash, flash. We're good enough for another couple of triple attacks though. Come, on, come, yeah. Let, no, let's do the X strike. Let's keep ahead of the uh, the healing needs, especially with Chrono getting chopped down to seven ooh, to seventy four. Yikes! I probably should get a uh, frog to heal Chrono too. Because that's going to bring him up to about half. So let's go combo. Let's go to Frenzy. And let's go to Slurp. Chrono. Oh. <laughs> that works too. Robo's level increased. Unbelievable. But the fall fighting for Lord Magus. There could be no greater honor. I mean, there could be, but... Obtain Slasher. I think I've seen how this movie goes. Alright, let's go to the inventory. Let's go ahead and burn one of the shelters we bought. Get everybody top back off. And, oh, I almost forgot. Let's go to Equipment. I don't think the Slasher's better than the Primeval Blade. So that's an attack of 70. That's an attack of 40... <laughs> of 43. Ooh, an attack of 43. I mean... Speed plus two is nice, but, but, an attack of 70 versus 43. Yeah, nah, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. All right, everybody's healed up. Uh, 25, 25, 25, 24. All right, and I think we've got all the text that we're going to get with uh, Robo and Frog, because we got those two. Yeah, those two. Alright, so he's got at least one with Marley. And I don't think he's going to get the next one until he gets his next magic. Which will be in another 88 tech points. I don't think that's going to happen naturally as we go through the castle. I might have to wait until the next grind. Um, I'll bother. You know what? Let me... I got I got a couple minutes that I can spare just running over here back to the tech guide and Marley and Frog yeah they won't get their next one until Frog gets water too uh where's Luke and Frog Luca and Frog all right, Luca and Frog should... Oh, wait, no. That's not until Frog gets Leap Slash. Unless that was actually Slurp Slash under a different name. I might have to check on uh, on the wiki instead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Luca and Frog should have one. In the meantime... Mm, no, Let, let's keep the party we got. And, oh, did I save? I should probably save. And even if I didn't save... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I want to save here. Or did I already screw it up? I was going to use the save right before we walked in the cave to, to test out the video capture. You know what, on the off chance I didn't screw that up, let's go ahead and save that right there on the second slot for now, the Fiend Lord's Keep. Yeah, okay, okay. That that would have changed once we entered in. Okay, good. So I didn't screw it up just yet. Or did I? I guess we'll find out. 
soon enough. All right, let's go to the credits here because I I've uh, I'm right about it. I'm right about where I wanted to be. So I can say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still two more episodes to come. If you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow in Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. And definitely, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel, whether you watch it or not. Uh, it helps the channel out, and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted, like the Coffee Craft, and I've got some other stuff that I might be doing in the very near future, too. Dun, dun, dun. And live folks, give me a minute to go prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.